Hi everybody, I'm the trusty businessman and today I wanna to go over the topic of the month, the year, the coronavirus, the stock market crash. I wanna to talk to you guys all about what I've been analyzing, the stats and the data, and how we are facing impending doom as business owners if we do not pivot. And today I wanna to teach you the tools and the techniques to use the market crash to your advantage so that we don't suffer as small business owners, as startups. We need to get in front of this before it's too late, before we're suffering and our own income is suffering. Now, as you can see, I'm not working from my house today, and that is for a very important reason. I'm trying to minimize the risk of the coronavirus spreading as we don't know how fast it spreads, but I don't wanna generate panic around the virus. I want people to be peacefully prepared not infected with this panic. So keep this in mind as we go through this video because I'm gonna be talking with a lot of excitement in my voice, but I am just preparing you for the market crash. The market crash is following the panic. Before we jump into the tools of how to succeed in this unpredictable world, I want to come to an agreement with what we are dealing with. First, we have to look at the history of the last 30 years and see that there's a crash every seven to 10 years. Forbes posted in December of 2018 that the CFOs at Duke University predicted a crash in the end of 2019. We have to come to an agreement that stock market crashes, the big ones at least, happen every seven to 10 years. Now, as business owners, let's look first at the statistics from the 2008 crash. Between December 2008 and December 2010, about 1.8 million small businesses went under. And then what of that of our employees, of our subcontractors? In just two years from December 2007 through 2009, about 8.7 million jobs were lost. These are huge numbers, guys. We're looking at a market crash that could surpass these numbers right now. Let me tell you why. Let's look at how Italy is handling the situation. They just had a nationwide lockdown. We can expect this to happen as more and more people become infected in the United States. Now, I wanna remind you that the infection and the coronavirus is not the main scare here as business owners. If we experience a nationwide shutdown here or even a statewide shutdown, there's several states already in the state of emergency, so we can see the same trends happening here at a local level. I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We already have about seven people more or less infected that we know of. And as this virus continues to spread, more people are becoming fearful. More people are raiding the stores. This is not the right way to act. We need to be peaceful. We need to be prepared. We need to be secluding ourselves, working from home, as you can see that I am. We need to limit the exposure of us to other people. But at the same time, keep in mind that economies will shut down. They will um, stagnate and stall because people are not going to their jobs. So there's a lot of um, the market that's going to suffer because of this. And in turn, we're going to see small businesses, local businesses suffer. So what I want to teach you today is how to navigate your way through this storm, through this roller coaster of the market and volatility of it all. First, understand that the news is perpetuating the chaos. The more they promote the scare of the virus, the spread of the virus, the more people are reacting, going to the stores and, and taking all of the supplies, they're hoarding things, and they're not exercising their ability to go out to eat, to go out and order food from a local restaurant. So we need to look at the business model in each company that we're working with and see how we can pivot for success. This may be dramatically changing the environment of the business, but it's necessary for businesses to grow into unicorns and then into phoenixes. How do you think the businesses survive every decade through these market crashes? So what I wanna teach you today is how to utilize the coronavirus to fuel the business model pivot. So I wanna give you the one thing to weather the storm during this crisis. You all as business owners need to identify the COVID-19 product market fit. This is what we're gonna focus on for this video. So what is product market fit? According to our LAM analysis, the product market fit is identifying the problem, identifying who you're solving it for, and then identify how you're solving it for that customer. What is your unfair advantage? Well, in this case, your unfair advantage is finding the coronavirus opportunity in the chaos. Let's play out a hypothetical. 
if everyone stays home out of fear for the coronavirus, if we cannot stop the pandemic and the panic coming to our local cities, how do we combat that at a business level? How do we pivot our business model so that our sales don't decrease and that our income is not impacted? We have to ask ourselves, what are people in need of if they stay at home, if they hoard their groceries and they don't leave their homes for weeks, for months? I don't know about your business in particular, but how does your product or service benefit or drive value to your customers today? And how will you pivot and adapt to your customers that are not coming in the store anymore, that are not contacting you for sales anymore? How do you pivot or adapt to the coronavirus epidemic? We can use the coronavirus as fuel to fuel the engine of the business model pivot. Let's look at a harrowing statistic right now. In Seattle, Washington, there's a restaurant that is losing 70% of its sales just because of the panic in Seattle, Washington. So I wanna share this perfect example of how someone pivoted their business in Japan, I think it was, where they took a restaurant that was suffering in sales because of the panic, and they took the wait staff, sent them out to grocery stores, and the wait staff is delivering groceries to the homes of their customers. This is creating a market opportunity in a great time of need. It's providing more economic stability for the employees at the restaurant, and it's also providing a service to the customers so that the brand can live on, the company can live on. They're creating an Instacart option out of their own business, which it flips the model completely on its head. I realize the necessity of everyone learning how to complete a lamb analysis right now in this time of need. So I'm offering the lamb analysis down in the description below so you can download a PDF, you can brainstorm with your team and see how to pivot your business model today. If you need assistance on this, you can go to lamb.invents.com and you can contact us to complete a lamb analysis for you. We'll work together to see how we can pivot your model for success in this unpredictable environment. You shouldn't be fearful, but you should be prepared. This is proactive preparedness, getting ready for a crash that's going to impact our businesses. Don't be reactive after the fact. Get in front of this. Take action today. Please put any comments or questions below. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We want to spread the news. We want to help more people pivot their business models. We don't want everybody to suffer because of this market crash. We don't want everybody to suffer because of the panic. And so we wanna be here to help. We wanna be your digital transformation guide. If you have a business that is not digital, that is not remote, if your employees are not able to work from home, contact us today. We will show you how to digitally transform. We can do this in two to three weeks if you need it so that people can still work in your business but work remotely. We'll teach you the techniques and the tools of the trade. We've done this with multiple companies. This is what we do for a living. So please let us know how we can help you in this time of crisis. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you stay safe be healthy and pivot your model today.